Hey guys, my name is Shivam Kejriwal. Um, welcome back to the channel. At this point, I'm just gonna stop apologizing because I know that I won't be able to make another video for another six months. So there's no point in apologizing because I keep feeling guilty about it and it's not gonna take me anywhere or you guys anywhere. So anyways, welcome back to the channel and well, now you know the drill. We'll be talking about um, my semester at Shivnadi University, my fifth semester. I am pursuing a bachelor's in physics at Shivnadi University. It's a four-year degree and I am in my third year currently. My fourth semester, I made a video about all of my previous semesters um, at some point of time in on this channel and you can take a look at them um, after going through my channel once maybe. And um, so yeah, I'll be talking about what exactly I did in my fifth semester, some things that you might be able to learn from it, uh, learn from my mistakes and something that I have learned from those mistakes. And also to make it a little more interesting, I'll be talking to you guys about the future prospects and specifically about the summer of 2021. Um, it is it, it is really, really um, uncertain and well, for me, it's like the third year, it's like a climax of my undergraduate degree and I'm sitting here with no internships. So while I, while I don't have an internship myself at this point of time, I would like to share some ideas with you which might get you an internship after all. Um, so yeah, let's begin. Let's talk about well first the fifth semester and then we'll go to the internship part. So first of all, I'd like to give you guys an update from the previous semester. If you guys remember, I mentioned that in my fourth semester, I had a really good CGPA and that was of 9.56. I don't know how I got it, I just did. And um, that led me to get into a Dean's List for the first time and um, what seems like the last time as well. And well, that's just a recognition of the fact that you did academically well. And I guess that I, I just can put it in my CV and whatever and flex a little. Another update from 2020 is the fact that in the summer of 2020, I was working on an internship at IIT Bhuvneshwar, as I also mentioned in that video which I was hoping that would turn into a, a publication, which it never did. So, um, yeah. So, well, a note to self and to you guys, um, if you are doing an internship and it does seem a little bit too formal, that doesn't mean that anything productive for the world is going to turn out from that internship. I mean, I did have my fun. I did enjoy doing that internship, but no research publication after all. Anyways, um, that, that's it for the uh, fourth semester and the summer internship. Now let's get actually to the fifth semester. So in this semester, I took four core courses as is required by my degree. And I took one elective, which was on introduction to statistics. And that kind of helped me with my uh, research project that is currently going on. I will talk about that in a bit. So with these five courses, this semester was a little more hectic than the last time, but at the same time, I think I managed it pretty well. I didn't get as high of a CGPA as 9.56 or something like that, but I get I got an 8.8 .8 and I guess that's fair enough. Other than that, as you guys might know, I was also an associate secretary for the club Celestia Explora, which is the astronomy club of Srivanatha University. In the fifth semester, we did organize as many events as we could. We did organize a few talks. There's this thing called the World Space Week, which happens in the first week of October every year and we managed to pull off a series of lectures, some events um, open to all uh, from university or outside of university, thanks to the pandemic. And all of that was really, really fun. We even had a stargazing night in, in December towards the end of it. Um, and we observed Jupiter and Saturn as they conjuncted in the sky. I don't know if that's a word, I just, you know what I mean. Another thing which I consider an achievement for my fifth semester is the fact that I took a little bit more time for myself. Um, I bought a subscription to an app known as Headspace, which is like a mental peace application. It, it gives you some you know, mental exercises to do, some meditation to do, and really helps you take care of yourself. I don't know how much it helps me because I don't have a quantitative um, you know, parameter keeping track of my mental health. But at the same time, I do feel a little bit more, um, you know, in the moment at all point of time. So in case you're a student, stuff like this might end up helping you. But well, it's totally dependent upon you. I don't want you to spend your money and then blame me for it. And then let's talk about the cosmology OUR. Um, I am pursuing this research project, which is an year long project right now. And it's on cosmology. It has to do with statistical and numerical techniques applied to 
cosmological parameter estimation. So we are taking a model of cosmology using observational evidence and try to fit both of these things to work out what exactly um, is the description, the characteristics of the whole universe. Sounds pretty cool, is pretty cool and I am hoping to do um, well in it even in this semester. So it's a year long project as I already told you and what seems to be the prospect right now, I might be able to further expand on it and work on it in my fourth year as my undergraduate thesis which is like a required component for a degree but then again many people end up choosing their fourth year thesis uh, project topic in the fourth year itself however for me it seems like this OUR can directly convert into that and um, yeah I'm looking forward to it finally a serendipitous thing that I got hold of in my fifth semester was a winter school at Ayuka Pune um, I hope you guys know about Ayuka it's the inter-university center for astronomy and astrophysics and it's one of the best um, institutes in India for pursuing astronomy or astrophysics or cosmology um, and it, it is linked with many different institutes throughout India and is well reputed and okay so I, I'm advertising a little too much I was able to participate in the radio astronomy went to school at Ayuka and was able to get a lot of insight into the world of radio astronomy turns out I still find cosmology a little more interesting but still radio astronomy does promise a lot of stuff by the way these radio astronomy winter school lectures that were conducted throughout the two weeks of that winter school are, av are available online on YouTube just type in Ayuka NRC RAWS 2020 I hope you remember that and I think you should be able to easily find the playlist with all the content so there was a lot of data analysis involved there was a lot of theory observation experiments involved in that winter school gave me a lot of insight and exposure to the field and um, yeah maybe not right now but I hope that in the future at some point of time um, all of that knowledge does come to help for me anyways I guess that's pretty much it for what I wanted to talk about in the fifth semester well the sixth semester the last of my third third year semester has already begun and I'm taking four courses this semester officially and auditing one course well the audit itself is also unofficial so I can't really you know talk about it a lot but it's on cosmology and I thought that it would help me with my um, well the research project and that's why I'm auditing it with that in mind um, I am planning not to do anything extra because last semester again um, I took five courses and that led to a drop in my CGPA from 9.56 to 8.8 and so I'll be keeping this semester comparatively light and um, the main concern right now for me is the summer internships which brings us to the last section of this video right now the situation is very um, uncertain and a lot of people uh, are very anxious about their summers um, especially as an undergraduate I have received many messages um, um, you know on LinkedIn on my Instagram from friends and from people here on YouTube um, telling me about how they're really anxious about the whole situation they have no internships I have no internships right now and I'm pretty anxious about it and um, although nothing has particularly worked a lot for me um, I would try to give you guys some idea about some places that I have applied and how exactly can you go about looking for opportunities so there are two steps in the process first of all you have to know that there is an opportunity and the other one is like actually applying for it so the second one is upon you whether you want to do it or not I can give you an idea about the first part which is um, how exactly can you find these opportunities so well the number one most important thing that you can do is google your way through so in googling as well it's not as simple as it sounds because if you just type in summer internship 2021 physics you'll get a lot of websites um, claiming to be offering internships but these are just websites which are gonna redirect you to other websites from to other universities for which the applications haven't even opened yet so avoid being part of those type of searches um, avoid being part of that type of a traffic rather what you can do is be more specific about it so uh, think about some schools that you might have in mind so HRI, ICTS, TIFR, um, IUCA, I, I, ICERS, IITs whatever um, whatever is your field of research and whatever universities and institutes that you know of um, which actually work in that field try to approach them try to go to their websites take a look at some available opportunities and from there as 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 it is you might be able to find a lot of opportunities 
so that's one way in which i i was able to find a lot of um you know internships here in india and abroad other than that um um i have a list of all the places that i could find here in india and abroad which um could be offering potentially summer internships for indian students um in the upcoming months for summer of 2021 um i will link it down as a pdf in the description box so go check that out um i don't know how helpful that is i have just mentioned the updates as of today what is the what is the um, basically uh, status of that particular application right now with the link of the application portal so you can go take a look at that and decide for yourself whether you want to apply apply for it or not most of them are mostly concerning astronomy and astrophysics and well physics in general so keep that in mind while applying well my um field of specialization has to do with that so i uh, try to focus more upon that but yeah um if you want to search for opportunities um this could be a good starting point and this can also give you an idea about um how exactly you should go about looking for opportunities um one recommendation that i have for you is that um try to look for opportunities um which are within your country rather than uh, trying for out abroad because the abroad opportunities would either probably be cancelled or would be held remotely so that might not turn out to be the best scenario um rather if you apply for the for the place that you are in india let's say so if you are in india and you apply for an opportunity in india it's highly highly probable that by may of 2021 or june of 2021 the situation would be uh, so much under control that you might actually be able to go to that place and um you know get that internship done um like physically um without having to do it remotely so yeah i mean just know that you are not alone a lot of students out here are really anxious about the situation if nothing works out um you can always try to take up a reading project by yourself um so there are a lot of books i am currently reading up on gtr from this book called hartel uh, gravity and introduction to einstein's general relativity by james b hartel so if nothing works out i'll just try to get my hands um tighter on gtr and try to work further on my research project you can pick up similar projects for yourself become self dependent i think that's the best thing that you can do in case no one else comes to your aid and with that in mind i would like to wrap up this video um i don't know how much of help this was i just wanted to give you again a brief idea of what i will be doing i am doing right now I, what i have learned from the past and um what you guys can be doing in the future anyways that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching um if you have any co comments about this video or anything that you want to contribute towards this discussion about undergraduate summer internships about well life as an undergraduate student in general just let me know in the comment section down below and if you like the video do share it um with someone else who might be anxious about summer internships and anything And well yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching my name is Shubham Kejriwal and I'll catch you guys in the next one